hey buddy welcome back to this new video tutorial uh, in this video i'm going to tell you how to differentiate the production environment with the development environment so there's one thing that uh, you'd want to do is create a directory called settings now the one thing that you'd want to do uh, that why you'd want to differentiate these environments is because uh, the database in the production environment is uh, sometimes the credentials and the database name is uh, completely different from the ones that you're using on the development side. So what you're going to do is uh, navigate to the tech root directory, or project name directory, and uh, find the file called settings.py. Now, if we edit the settings.py file and go to database, uh, as you can see, this is the database we have right over here. Now, this uh, what we'll do is create a SQLite instance. And that SQLite uh, database is usually a file system based database, which is not very really robust. So you may not want to use that. So what you're going to do is get back from the one directory. And as you can see, this is where I am. This is all my files are located. And you're going to create a settings.py file, settings uh, dot, uh, folder, right? So the next thing you'd want to do is uh, move the settings.py inside uh, your project name, um, your project directory to settings folder and rename it to base.py, right? So you go inside settings now and you have a base.py file named. So you edit that and go to databases again. Now what we're going to do is copy this snippet, right? And create a file called uh, um, dev.py. So we're going to create a dev.py file, excuse me, let me just increase the size and paste it over here. Now uh, we are going to import everything from base.py inside this dev.py file. Now we will save both of these files and get back to our root directory, which is going to be where the manage.py resides. Uh, now we're going to edit the manage.py file. And this is uh, the command that sets the environment variable for your entire Django project. Now what it's doing is that it's looking for the settings.py file inside a folder called techroos. Now we have moved the file from techroos to a folder name settings and uh, inside that folder there's a base.py file but we're not going to point to that we're going to point to dev.py because as uh, if you remember uh, dev.py already has all of the variables imported from inside the base.py itself so you go back one directory and as you can see uh, this is where everything is now what we're going to do is run this over again and if the server is running you can navigate to that through this and it's all well and good now what we're going to do is create the migration so manage the py migrate now what this is going to do is create all of these tables so all of these tables are created in your um db.sqlite 3 file but we don't want that right uh we want to use at least postgresql which is i personally use for my projects in the company as well so uh with that said uh this is the end of this tutorial and in the next video i'm going to teach you how to configure a postgresql instance for your database so thank you guys for watching if you like this video like it if you dislike this video dislike it if you have any comments questions leave them down below and uh, thank you for watching